Well, if you want to come to the U.S. and get a job, it's well known that a student visa is the easy ticket in. Several California colleges have been caught abusing the system. Now, KPIX 5 has learned Homeland Security wants to shut another one down. It's a Bay Area school that our Devin Feely investigated a year ago. This is what we saw in an undercover visit to International Technological University in 2015. Deserted hallways and half-empty classrooms, even though 2,700 students were enrolled. Fast forward to 2016 and things at the San Jose College look pretty much the same. But ITU's president, Dr. Gregory O'Brien, says he has made big changes since our last visit. This is a, an RFID reading uh, attendance mechanism. He says attendance is now closely monitored to make sure that students are really studying. And off-campus internships are strictly supervised. I think we probably talked with you uh, last year about the fact that we were in the middle of a major reform of our internship policies. And today I'm very comfortable that this is a quality institution doing things the right way. But those reforms apparently didn't convince Homeland Security. They've issued a so-called notice of intent to withdraw from the student and visitor exchange program. Schools that aren't part of that program can't admit any new foreign students. And that's almost everyone attending class here. Sources tell KPIX the government's investigation centers on the school's internship program. Through a Freedom of Information Act request, we obtained a list of companies that provided ITU students paid internships over the last five years. Turns out most of them are placement agencies like Betasoft Systems. Close to 400 students from ITU took internships with the company. It's so unethical. It's wrong. Sabine Sadiq was not an ITU student, but says she signed up for a six-week training course in 2014. She says it turned out to be training on how to fake your way into a job. They actually created basically a fake or a dummy resume. Mm -hmm. There were like two pages of false experience saying that, you know, worked for AT&T in uh, Texas and like all of this stuff that I've never done in my life. The company has since changed its name to US IT Solutions. We paid them an undercover visit. I just had a couple questions. This woman told our producer that the training Sabine took is no longer offered. We only employ people who have at least four plus years of relevant IT experience. But she said that foreign students are welcome and can be fast-tracked into the workforce. We can sponsor their entrance, not a problem. That's very problematic. Jessica Vaughn is with the Center for Immigration Studies. If their employer is listed as a placement agency, then the government has no way to keep track of uh, if they're working at all or if they've disappeared. From a national security standpoint, why is it important to make sure that these are in fact legitimate students? Student visas are issued for a much longer period of time than other kinds of visas like business or tourist visas. So they're really coveted by terrorist organizations in particular. Back at ITU, Dr. O'Brien says despite the school's past problems, he remains convinced that its current reforms will satisfy government regulators. I can't tell you that ITU was, was always doing everything the right way. Since 2015 when I came, I believe we are very, very, uh, in very, very good shape. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX Vaughn. The U.S. IT Solutions turned down our request for an interview, but in a statement, the company says it has no relationship with ITU or Betasoft.